Hey Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. And we as runners need to do more than just run all the time. Balancing strength and cross training with running is a great way to avoid injury and run stronger. So today I have a few moves for you and all you need is a simple bench. Now you don't need a workout bench like this one. A park bench or a picnic table will also work really well. The bench can be used as an assist to help us maintain proper form and provide support. Now these are great exercises for all levels and are inspired by a Runner's World article, which I'm going to leave in the description. In this video, I'm boiling those exercises down to some fundamental parts in order for you to achieve proper form. You can progress up from here. This kind of workout is what I categorize as runner's strength. Short body weight only exercises done in circuit to support and strengthen the muscles in the core, hips, and glutes. Workouts like this will help you reduce the risk of injury and help you perform better. That supports your running long term. Runner strength workouts can be done two to three times a week. For each of these exercises, you can do them in one of two ways, either by timing the exercise or by counting reps, depending on your preference. This is a circuit workout, meaning that you will do one set of each exercise, then quickly move into the next exercise, going all the way through all of the exercises at once, then starting back over at the top to repeat the circuit for up to three full circuits. If you want to go by time, you will perform each exercise for 45 to 50 seconds with 10 to 15 second rest to set up the next exercise. If you would rather count reps, start with eight to 10 reps for each exercise, again with 15 seconds rest in between. When you get through one full set of exercises, take a minute or two of rest before beginning the circuit again. Work your way up here too. If this is your first time doing this workout, start with one set, adding more as you get stronger. Now the whole circuit should take about five minutes or so for one set and about 20 minutes total for the three circuits plus a good rest in between. Are you ready? Here we go. The first exercise is the squat to stand. Begin sitting on the bench with your feet hip width apart. Contract your abdominal muscles to support your lower back. Lean forward slightly and push up through your heels using your glutes to push yourself to standing. Lower yourself back down with control. Now you might find this a simple start, but remember this is the beginning progression. If you wanna take on more of a challenging exercise, push up into a jump at the top. Now, real quick, the progressions of the Runner's World article were particularly challenging for me the day I shot this. So remember, you can always bring the workout back to these basic moves. The next exercise is the pistol squat. Sitting on the bench, keep one leg straight, push through the standing leg with your glute to standing, keeping your raised leg out in front of you. It's a challenging move meant to test your balance and single leg moves like this are great for running. You may also find that one leg is more stable than the other, which is totally normal. Start with the leg that feels more stable before moving to the other side. This is gonna help you establish a good movement pattern first before doing the other side. The incline push-up is great if you have trouble doing push-ups from the floor or want a different angle. Place your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, shoulders directly above your wrists and your feet hip width apart. Keeping your head in line with your spine, not something I'm actually doing in this exercise. Lower yourself toward the bench slowly and push yourself back up. Doing push-ups with your hands wide and elbows out will work different muscles in the chest and shoulders than a traditional elbows back type of push-up. Tricep dips are next. Sitting on the bench with your hands just outside of your hips, feet hip width apart and slightly out from your knees, push yourself up and off the bench. Making sure your shoulders don't round forward, bend your elbows and drop your butt toward the floor slowly. Use your triceps to push yourself back up. Keep your shoulders down and back, away from your ears, and keep your head, shoulders, and hips in line. Russian twist is our last exercise. If you are not comfortable starting this on the bench, start on the floor. 
Using the bench by sitting with your feet resting on the end of the bench will help you maintain balance and keep you moving with control. Keep your feet flexed, knees and hips at 90 degrees. Lean back by engaging your core and keeping your shoulders back and down. Cross your arms in front of your chest and twist from side to side using your trunk. To progress from here, sit perpendicular to the bench with your feet lifted at bench or hip level. Make sure you are stable on the bench and engage your core with your knees and hips at 90 degree angles. Twist from side to side using your trunk. Remember to keep your shoulders back and down and your back straight. And that is it for the bench assisted runner strength workout. Add this into your training cycle two to three times a week after your runs for a stronger, more efficient stride. My question for you today is this, what do you think of this workout? And would you like to see more of these? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comments section down below. Please like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and remember you can support this channel over on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Until next time, remember you have no limits. Happy running.